And then how is... Wait a second. How am I in the tractor and also standing out here at the same time? I don't know what to say. I don't think the world can handle two OGs at the same time. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do our third hay cutting. And we're going to harvest the hay from field 57, and then uh, later on or replant it uh, with probably wheat. I don't think we'll get to that in this episode. And we're also going to purchase our first of what will probably be many... Uh, fermenting factories or silage factories so as you can see I already got started uh, with the the cutting of the hay in fact I have all the hay cut on our normal our regular hay fields and uh, I started picking up some of the the hay over on the side field there in this forage wagon as you can see but it's almost full and we have to get the the uh, silage factory put down before we can continue on because I don't want to dump the silage in the stave silos. I want to keep those just as they are and we'll unload them in January and then I'm probably going to just sell them and just use the factories moving forward. So, uh, the first order of business though is to get the mower out to field 57 and get it started uh, mowing this grass. Uh, so we're only going to do one cutting on this field and then we're going to convert this field back to uh, probably a wheat field this time around and I'm also strongly considering purchasing field 56 here next to it it's it's been in my plans to purchase this all along anyway and it currently has wheat I think right uh, yeah it has wheat already planted so we wouldn't even have to plant it uh, however all of the you know the margin area here uh, everything I'm sitting in and all the way up to the trees and all the way up to the road is part of this property so we could substantially expand this field too i don't think i would combine this field with that one though and uh, we'd probably we'd probably keep a road you know uh dividing the two you know down the center here and then you know have them be two separate fields so that's that's in the works whether it's going to happen next you know as our next field purchase or not i'm not entirely sure we'll just kind of have to see how things play out all right, let's go ahead and get this guy started here. So we want to open up a course play. Let's clear the previous course. We're going to have to create a new course uh, for this field. And I'm thinking there's a lot of headland or a lot of field here. So let's try like 12 headlands. And yeah, we'll generate the course and see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now let's go over to here, select field 57 save the course and we'll call this f57 big m uh, spiral there we go okay so that is now saved we want to make sure that's on first waypoint and uh, let him go to town so yeah we should get we should get a nice yield off of this field. Okay, now let's go back to here. And I actually want to get the New Holland. There we go. And we're going to hook up the V-Rake and the other forage wagon to the New Holland. I'm going to have the AI run the fence and I'll work the New Holland uh, with the V-Rake. Oh my goodness. What in the world's going on over here? This is <laughs> this is all tangled up. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, well, uh, can we just pull this out for now? That's all we really want right now. I'll have to, I, I think I just have too much stuff crammed in next to each other, so the game, you know, kind of freaks out about it. All right. And then uh, we'll run over and get the, the blue forage wagon. And actually, now that I think about it, I want to set up the course, though, in the fence, because it's going to be the AI 
a controlled vehicle. Okay, so I've given this some thought, and what we're going to do is we're going to put the first silage factory right in this corner over here. So my tentative plan for all of this is, let's save the game here too before we actually commit to this, just in case I screw something up. Okay, so my tentative plan for this is, I'll show you what I'm thinking. Uh, we're gonna go to production and we're gonna select this. So we're gonna put one of the factories here and I'll probably kind of line the little shed more up with the road. I think that'll, that'll look a little bit better. So we'll put, we're gonna put one here. Later on, we're gonna put one here. And then after we purchase 56, all of this area, not the house, but all of this area will be part of the property. We'll get rid of those trees and then we can put another one here and another one here and maybe even a third one if we're if we really scrunch them in and i think the, i think that's yeah that's the plan for how i want to handle that okay so anyway let's uh start with this one here so again i want to kind of line the little shut up more with the road it's not going to be perfect no matter what we do, but I think it'll look better lined up with the road as opposed to, you know, our little side road here. And then uh, we just want to also, I kind of want to make sure it's somewhat lined up with the one that we're going to eventually put over here, which we want the shed to be in the widest area for turning in and out. So it's probably going to go somewhat there. And then this one, eh, I kind of messed myself up there, didn't I? It's just that it's not coming back exactly straight. So this one can probably go right about here-ish, I'm thinking. Uh, yep, let's do that. Okay, there we go. $300,000, poof, down the drain. <laughs> well, not down the drain. Uh, we got a, a nice facility for it. Okay, so that actually went in there pretty nicely. Looks like we could stand to do a little bit of smoothing on this corner, but not uh, not too bad, really. So let's just get up into here and a little landscaping and smoothing. And just kind of smooth this out a little bit here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I want to also... Um, do just a little bit of painting here too. So let's grab that and just do something along these lines here. We're not going to be able to get this perfectly square because it's on, you know, kind of a weird angle here. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think that's an, probably about as good as it's going to get because here again, we're just on the really odd angle. So let's go with that. That's smoothed out pretty good. There's a little bit of a wrinkle right there. We could probably chill out a little bit. I like it. I like it. Oh, there's one other thing I want to do. And we want to name this. Let's get back into this menu, click on this, rename, and we're just going to call this Silage Factory 1. There you go. Except for, let's put a space there. Silage Factory 1. One of what will probably eventually be many. Excellent. Okay, so we got that part done. Let's hop in the tractor here. And then we're just going to set up ourselves a nice little simple auto drive course um, for this. And you know what we might do? I think I'm going to set up two separate courses, one for the further fields and one that we can probably use for both 57 and um, these fields over here. So let's go over to Hither. And we're going to put the staging area right here. 
All right, now let's um. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to turn that on, and we want to start recording. And we'll just go th through what uh, over one notch. Hopefully that road sign doesn't become a problem here. And we're gonna want to name this. Um, hey. Load. One. And then the one that we set up over yonder on the other fields, we'll call that one Halo to two. Okay, now we should be able to just connect this right into the road. Um, yeah, that should work. Whoops. Okay, so then he'll just get right on the road here. Oh, for goodness sakes, I forgot to stop the recorder. I always do that. All right, oh, so let me um, delete those really quick. Uh, you know what? We are not messing with traffic. Traffic is off. Go away, traffic. We don't like you. Well, actually, we do kind of like you sometimes, but not this time. Um, I th think this one needs to go, too. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Okay. There's two merges there. Let's go with, um, let's get rid of this one. And we'll go with this one that comes in through here. I think that'll be okay. All right. Now I think we got it straightened out here. Okay, so you're going to come down here. And then what I think I want to do is... Kind of pull this way a little bit. So let's start recording again. And connect those two. come all the way out the other side and past the unload area to here and then we'll name this a unload good and then we just have to hook back up with starting point and this should again like I said work for both of these fields okay turn the recorder off and just go down the road here until we get to about here ish and then we'll turn off here. Stop the recording and join up the course. Excellent. All right. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go... Uh, how full are we? We're at 90%. Let's go ahead and drop this load off just so we're starting fresh.
And that way we can also get the fermentation started too. Now this uh, factory that we just installed has two modes. It's got like a fast mode, which is more money in a slower mode. Uh, and it'll do shaft and grass. Uh, it's interesting that it doesn't do corn though. And not that that matters to us. Well, no, corn turns into shaft. So yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so anyway, um, so we neither do 2,000 liters per cycle or we can do 5,000 liters per cycle. So the 2,000 costs 360 bucks um, and the other one costs 1,200. I'm gonna start with the slow one. And if it turns out that it's too slow, in other words, if we're not getting all of the silo or, or silage fermented by the time the next hay cutting comes around, then we might need to bump this up to the fast one. But let's start with the slow one first, okay? So we're gonna activate this now. And yeah, let's just start making silo for us, or silage for us, rather. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna drive over to the start starting point of this field. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we should remove this old course. So I'm not really planning on using these silos anymore. Uh, after we empty them, I'm going to probably just sell them. Um, but that means I want to change something real quick in the key bindings here. Remove that from there because I use a different key. And then for delete waypoint, we're going to put the delete key there. All right, let's save the controls. And I'm just going to drive along here and quickly delete just this course. Nope, not that one. Not that one. Okay, good. So that deletes all of those. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, now what we're going to do is get you over here to the starting point. And we want to make sure this is on pickup and deliver. And we want hay load one, hay unload, grass, and we want to activate course play. And then over here, we want to load the course for 5354 spiral hay, activate. And then. All we do is turn this on and then you should go to town. That's looking good. Okay, so for the first load, I'm gonna just kind of stick with him and make sure, you know, he, he offloads correctly. Um, or she, he, and then if he's successful the first time around, then we're going to cut him loose and I'm going to jump in the new Holland with the V rake and start getting the side fields and some of the stuff, you know, the corners that, that are always missing that sort of thing. So let's just see what happens here. All right. I screwed up and started him at the nearest waypoint instead of the first. So he missed the outer row, but I'll, I'll just take care of that myself. All right. Driver 1050 can't calculate a path. Why is that? It's this one here, because look, this one's not lighting up onto that. That's the problem. Okay, so let's, let's just delete. Wait, delete this. Why isn't that letting me delete it? I don't know. and then connect that into there. In fact, we don't need this one either, really. It was that recording that I did um, earlier, you know, where I screwed it up. Okay, so now if we're just out in the field, 
and we we're still uh, enable course play put this back to here a load one hey unload grass and turn it on it should work now yep <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me you guys <laughs> one little tiny tiny break in the link and it just screws the whole thing up it's like Christmas lights okay so you I guess you're gonna what are you gonna do So right now he's trying to get to Halo 1. And then he switched to Halo uh, Hey Unload. Okay, I think we're good now, finally. Whew. Let's just watch him. Make sure he's going to be good all the way. All the way there. That's looking good. Now, is he going to go all the way back to Hay Unload 1 before he breaks off? It looks like he is. That's fine. I mean, it's close. It's, it's fairly close, so it's not that big of a deal. Looks like our mower's done out there, so I guess that's the first thing I'll do is just go clean up after him. Okay, now, as soon as he hits hay load one, it should switch over to course player. And you know what? I'm going to put that back on first waypoint, so I'll just let him do it right from the get-go since i got to go do that other stuff anyway. Okay, let's turn that off. Oh, uh, you know what, though? I wonder if he's going to go back to where he left off. If he does, that's fine. Um, but if that's the case, which it looks like it is, we should keep this on nearest waypoint. I guess the reason it goes so slow is it's processing each one of the little waypoints that it has to go to. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, looks like we're back in business. Okay. So I'll keep an eye on this dude, and hopefully uh, we won't have any more issues. Uh, and it is working very well. The issue was actually my fault. Uh, but I think what I'll do is we'll go out to the mower and just, you know, get the, the stuff that was missed here. And then I'm going to jump in the New Holland uh, with the other forest trailer and start, you know, getting the corners and the other stuff that's missed and go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go here. Um, and I will be back. No, well, not let you go as in stop the episode, um, but I'll be back later on with an update. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back with an update. Uh, the AI worker has completed... Field 53 and 54. And so I think I'm going to get them started on 57, the, the real big field. But they are out of bond silage. So we're going to take the rest of the bond silage that's on this pallet. And that's it. And then we have to buy another pallet of that before we continue to have them work on that and then I'm I'm just working on field 50 and the spiral uh, or the tri fields myself I'll probably just get those done uh, myself while he, this guy's working on the larger field okay so let's go into the store and we want to uh, we want to go here and we want to go pallets and let's buy another thing of bond silage This stuff uh, lasts a long time, so it's really pretty cool how long it lasts. And I'll probably just leave that out there because I'm going to need some more for my tractor, too. And we'll see. We have a load of 76%. So I think what I'll do is I'll 
Uh, actually, no, I'm just going to empty him out and then have him start fresh on field 57. So let's take him over to the silo and get this load dumped off. I still have to get, you know, the the diagonals and stuff on this field and the first the first row, which this guy missed because I, I told him to do nearest waypoint instead of first waypoint, but not a big deal. We'll get that taken care of. Okay, so let's get this dumped off. Uh, we had no no issues at all. Once I fixed that link, um, the AI did this entire field without any problems whatsoever, which is awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we're going to get him back over to the load point. Man, look at all the hay on that field. We are going to have so much silage. This is just awesome. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go here. And we want to remove that course. We want to load field 57, big M spiral course. Load course, activate. Uh, he's still on course play there. Those don't change. So, yeah. Let's get him started. He might need to run his his uh, auto drive course first. Nope, he switched over to course play. All right, so he should go to that far corner of the field. Oh, wait, I screwed up again. This needs to be... Okay, stop, 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 stop. This needs to be first waypoint. So he should switch over to course play and then go over to the first waypoint which is all the way in that corner of the field over there that's looking good let's just keep keep with him until we make sure he gets started off correctly that very far row over there He's not going to do. I'll have to do that because that was margin grass that I grabbed. Looks like I missed a couple of little tufts of grass on the angles there, but that's all right. Not a big deal. You know, one nice thing about this field, too, is because it's grass, It'll when we convert it over to wheat, it should already have an application of fertilizer on it. We'll only have to do one application, and I'm not going to have enough slurry for that either, so I'll probably have to use granular fertilizer. Oh, but that's okay. When we expand our cow operation, we'll, you know, we'll have more, more of that sort of thing to go around. Okay, so he started his pickup, and looks like he's doing he or she, she this time. She's doing what needs to be done. That's looking good. All right, so yeah, we're going to leave, leave, leave her to it. I'm going to jump back in the New Holland and keep working on the other fields. And again, I'll bring you guys back uh, with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, we're just about finished here. Uh, there's a little bit of hay left over on uh, field 57 that we have to go get. I stopped the uh, AI worker right before he was completely finished because he had run out of bond silage. So we'll just go grab that, and then we'll be finished, and we'll take a look and see what our yield was. Uh, should be pretty significant because, you know, we get a really big yield on our third cutting anyways, plus we added field 57 to it on top of that, so it should be really good. Um, so let's head on over uh, to that field and get that stuff done, and then we'll take a look and see where, where we're at. I didn't have any more errors. It just it was just that one uh, blocked by an object. That's I got a I got a dude doing some cultivate. Whoops, uh, doing some cultivating. Um, and it looks like he's blocked up. I had to use the man truck because um because the. 
uh, Fint was busy doing the hay, and only the man in the Fint can pull this cultivator. And I did an, another cultivating contract too uh, earlier with this same setup. Okay, so let's get you in position. See if he can get started here. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we'll just let him do this little field. The rest of the cultivating contracts are even smaller, so I'm not going to mess with them, but we'll do that one. Okay, back to you. Let's head on over to 54 and just, just a little bit of hay left to pick up. We got most of it. And then uh, what I was saying was, yeah, we only had the, that one error, which I think I was still rolling the camera when that happened. And then otherwise, everything went really smooth. Uh, happy to report. Uh, so we just got this little bit in the center here and maybe a few things on the corner. I'm actually not really too worried about those little tiny spots. They're not that big a deal. Because we're, we're going to plow this whole field under anyways and plant weed in it. All right, let's go drop this off and then we'll take a look and see what the situation is with the yield. All right, so let's first of all, let's just do a save. And then we wanna to go to here in Silage Factory. So we pulled in, wow, we pulled in a whopping one point, over 1.4 million. We, <laughs> We almost completely filled this silo up. That is a lot of hay for one single cutting. Impressive. Very impressive. Okay, then that's going to turn into cha-ching for us in January. So, yeah, man, goodness gracious, we've, <laughs> we've already filled this silo up. We're going to have to buy another one for the fourth hay cutting. Oh, my goodness. What a nice problem to have, man. I'll tell you what. Nice problem to have. Okay, well, uh, let's see. We gotta let's get the tractors cleaned up and repaired and all that, and then I don't know that there's really anything else for us to do in September. So I'll probably go ahead and advance to October first. Yeah, that field's 59% complete. And then in October we're gonna have. Um, we're going to have the um, computer farmer hay contracts coming up again. And um, we're also going to have some stuff, I believe, to sell in October. So, it should be good. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And I will uh, bring you back on October 1st. Unless something happens between now and then that... Uh, is worthy of bringing you back before then. And then we will see what fame and fortune, well, maybe not fame, but fortune anyways, hopefully, <laughs> brings us in October. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. And how is, wait a second. How am I in the tractor and also standing out here at the same time? What is going on? That's kind of creeping me out. I'm not going to lie. Can I can I get in the tractor? What in the world? I got a doppelganger. Uh, Houston? There's two OGs. Get that hand out of my face. How was there two OGs? I've never seen this happen before. Trying to get <laughs> trying to get him turned around. So we can see them both at 
at the same time. There we go. I don't know what to say. I don't think the world can handle two OGs at the same time. That is bizarre, man. <laughs> That's so weird. I've never seen that happen before in this game. Anyway, okay, so, yeah. Um, we'll just kind of pretend that never happened, I guess. I don't know what else to say about it. Anyway, yeah, so we'll bring you guys back um, on October 1st, and we'll have a wonderful October making some more money and hopefully selling some stuff and having a good time. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, woo, $8,712. That's expensive. Um, I just messed up my, completely messed up my outro. So goodbye.